For more now on the bird flu outbreak in China, I'm joined by Dr. Miles Druckmann in Los Angeles, California. He is Vice President of Medical Services for International SOS. Welcome to the program. Thank you, Elaine. You know, we keep hearing about the increasing number of bird flu cases in China, and since it doesn't appear to be spread from human to human contact, is there a need to be worried? Well, I think uh, in any influenza potential outbreak, uh, it's a question of monitoring the situation very carefully and very closely. And I think as your uh, initial episode shows, that's being done. I think the surveillance that's happening today uh, really surpasses anything that's been done in the past. And I think that's really good news for, you know, the health of the global, um, you know, of the whole global world. Uh, but we need to continue to monitor the situation very closely. Uh, one thing you can predict about influenza, it's very unpredictable. Uh, so uh, we really have to watch it carefully. What is the possibility this strain of bird flu can make it out of China and into other countries? Well, the, the concept of uh, pandemic is ultimately the virus can go anywhere. Uh, and the challenge not just China has, but any uh, country that uh, has a new virus is that it's really air transport, uh, road transport. We are a very mobile culture. Uh, and so it just takes one person uh, who ultimately initially doesn't have symptoms. So there's what they call an incubation period where you actually are infected, but you don't have any symptoms. So you could go on a trip, you could go on, uh, on a holiday or whatever, and then develop your illness uh, when you're outside your home country. So that's, that's the challenge uh, with all of these types of viruses, that you have that period of time uh, where you can transmit or become ill uh, when you're traveling. Uh, Dr. Miles Struckman, we appreciate your time. Unfortunately, we're out of time. We'll see you again next time. Thank you.